Are you having problems staying focused and concentrated on the things that are really important to you? Are you troubled with intrusive thoughts? Thoughts that maybe have nothing to do with the things that you want to accomplish that just rush into your mind seemingly out of nowhere and disturbing and distracting you from everything that you want to do? Well, here's the thing. You may just be a walking contradiction to yourself. Maybe you are saying things like, I want to lose weight. However, in your mind, you are desiring fast food. You want that greasy, nasty, quick, easy snack, right? And it's putting you in a position where you're trying to commit to one thing and yet your mind is attached to something else. You have all these desires and all these wants. And that's what makes it so difficult for you to stay on track towards your goal. So if you want to finally achieve it, if you want to finally be who you want to be and have what you truly want to have, your job is to say no to any thought that doesn't serve you. Anytime you have a thought, in fact, it is very wise to check, does it serve me? When you're sitting there and feeling a little peckish or when you're sitting there and you have the desire to check your Facebook feed or when you're sitting there and you're fantasizing about what could have been with your ex when you're trying to build a new relationship, check your thought. Is it serving me? Is this going to help me? Is this going to actually take me towards where I want to go? Or is it keeping me stuck, firmly rooted right in place where I am today? The reason why people don't change and don't create the results that they want has so much less to do with external circumstance and so much more to do with internal circumstance it's unbelievable see if you just control your thinking if you really make a decision to say i'm not going to contradict myself anymore i'm not going to let those thoughts flow through my mind i'm not letting this happen anymore i'm not going to sit by and watch this you take back the power of course, it's great to observe and have awareness. That's the first step. But after that, you have to make a decision to really take back your mind because it is a terrible, terrible master, but it can be a great slave. So your mind should be your slave. Your mind is something you use. It's a tool, not something that shoves you left and right whenever you feel a little urge or a little impulse. Don't give in to that. Don't let yourself be the slave to your mind. Don't let it control you. Don't let it play the old patterns out. Because so long as you let it keep doing that, it stays in charge, it stays in control, your ego runs the show, and you never really get to step out and experience the things that you want in your life. You stay stuck, you become miserable, you develop depression, and before you know it, you give up on your dreams. We're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna make a firm decision. Watch the thoughts, control the thoughts, change the thoughts. What thought would serve you better? That doesn't contradict your goals and your aspirations and your dreams and your vision. Commit to that. Don't let your mind control you any longer. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. And if you'd like to experience a real breakthrough and some massive progress in your life, sign up for coaching. It's in the bottom left of your screen right now. If you click on that, you will go to my website and you can book a free consultation to get us started.